Right, Shelton. I recently came across a new series, and this particular scene within an episode caught my attention. With all my videos around the removal of trees and a potential of bases beneath these previous giant trees of great power. In this scene, the trees kicked over, revealing an underground base beneath, an underground bunker, whatever name you may call it. For me, providing disclosure, telling us where some of these locations were based, and it made me think of the creation of underground bases. First, would be the removal of the tree. Bring it down. By this point, you've seen this clip many times on this channel. The destruction of the mother tree. Destruction of giant trees. Next, would be taking all of its resources, harvesting it. Jesus. Their damn village happens to be resting on the richest unobtainium deposit within 200 clicks in any direction. I mean, look at all that cheddar. <laughs> and we see this all over the world today. Holidaymakers visiting the Grand Canyon, one of these locations. Huge machinery beyond a scale, unimaginable to some men. Finally, the creation of an underground base, used for multiple purposes and reasons. It's not a secret riot shelter. And are we also surprised? But who creates these bases? The elites are almost exclusively the ones building the bunkers because they can afford it. It's what I call an all disaster shelter, whether it's a hurricane, a tornado, a home invasion, wildfires. And like many people say, it's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. Plus, it's just pretty damn cool to have a secret bunker with a secret passage uh, below your house that nobody knows about. The idea of a bunker is to keep it concealed to where people do not know that you have it. So in other words, while you're watching my left hand up here, my right hand is taking some of the food back here. Well, it's the same way with a bunker. You want to hide the bunker in plain sight, but you don't want anybody to know about it. My for personal and governmental or corporate use, with the main point being not for the public. In the 1950s, the government came up with plans for a deep underground command center where the president and, you know, a few hundred staff members not only could take shelter, but also could direct a nuclear war. And with the world today, we see the destruction taking place. We already know these bases are being used for malevolent reasoning, all types of experimentation, but how long until they are used for survival? But back to the trees, a friend, Marie, sent me some further videos which show tree entrances leading to underground facilities, bases, hideouts, again whatever name you want to use. This is mainly shown in our fantasy, but again, fantasy is but disclosure, verging more towards the truth. So the home under the ground where Peter Pan and the Lost Boys live is accessed by trees which are on top of it. Each boy has their own tree which they fit into snugly, and therefore by breathing in and out they can go up and down as gaily as buckets in a well once they've got used to it. Peter Pan, we all remember the tree which they enter to get to the base. Which led me to a scene from Get Smart. Hi. Hi! Agent 13, you are in a tree. Yeah, communications got knocked down so they put me in a tree. <laughs> Old school stuff. And Marie reminded me of the opening theme to Fraggle Rock, the Jim Henson Company. Skipping to arrive at the main bit, where they leave by a tunnel leading for a tree. There is a lot in games such as Zelda, 
Normally after you beat The Legend of Zelda, the game will tell you that a new quest will start from here, and when you load up that save file, you can play an entirely different version of The Legend of Zelda. This second quest, as people call it, is an entirely different game, and while much of the overworld remains largely unchanged, and you'll find your sword in the same location, and also the first dungeon is in the same place, a tree's the entrance. And within these games, such as Zelda and other like games, dungeons hold huge purpose with huge reward, often holding sacred items. Hard to get to these places, filled with many enemies and a boss. Referring this to two different levels, we have the underground facilities which are being used for experimentation where there would be a boss, where there would be locked rooms, where there would be people to rescue, such as in the games where you rescue the princess. Referring it to a personal level or an elite level, we're talking about elites building these for their own purposes. In terms of the large giant trees, it's more in relation to the first, facilities used for governmental purposes, if not corporations, being used for malevolent purposes, trafficking children, experimentation in children and all types of human, messing with extra dimensional travel, the opening of portals, extraterrestrial beings, lower dimensional beings, who knows what goes on in these facilities to the highest extent. Again, mostly revealed in our films. A lot of my videos have shown the purpose of our ancient giant trees which we now mostly see as mountain tops or huge hills such as the one that I pointed out in Morven, the Morven tree and underneath I tried to highlight the underground facility. Relating that to this movie, this would be happening all across the world and the trees being in key locations upon the grid not only having resource, also harnessing huge amounts of power, perfect places to try to open portals and other type of experimentation. I'm not going back to the fight. This scene taken out of the recent series, Gen V, which looks at mutations and superheroes. All of what I've spoke about can be linked to our national park which themselves seem to be linked to the underground facilities and underground bases, especially in the USA, then linked on also to the huge amount of missing people that go missing in these parks, and also the unexplained activity in the skies around these locations. In relation to national parks and underground facilities, if we take a look at the USA map, and although not exactly to scale, compare that to the UFO sightings in the USA. Alongside golf courses in the USA, we can start to see links, how UFO sighting are linked to golf courses, which I've already highlighted, are linked to underground facilities and bases. Looking at the national parks, we can also see links and correlations between the national parks and UFO sightings in the USA also attached alongside the known underground base facilities we can see huge comparisons, huge links how it's all coming from the same thing linking national parks to our huge trees of the past our ancient trees brings me to the American root system A homophone root is root, the root of a tree. And when we take a look at the root system of how it began from one upwards and compare that to the national parks locations and also supposed dumps, deep underground military bases, we can see how they seem to follow the root system. Now I propose the American routes, the American highways are following old tree roots which correlate to the national parks, underground facilities and tunnels, and in turn, UFO sightings and golf courses, etc. To suggest that their tunneling system is following the routing system 
or mycorrhizal network of old trees, ancient trees. Which bring in this back to the start of the video, we can see how huge trees of the past, national parks, trees in general are related to underground facilities, UFO sightings, missing people, and unexplained activities. Bringing it all together, getting to the root of the matter, underground bases and trees. Love and light to all.